Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to be leading you through a 30 minute abs and booty workout. You don't need any equipment for this workout, just make sure you have something soft beneath you as we are going to be on the ground. Today's workout is segregated into four different sets. Each of the exercises are going to be 45 seconds on, 15 seconds off. Make sure that you can see your screen so you can follow along with me. And without further ado, let's get to it. All right guys, we are first starting off with some double pulse squats. So you're coming down, pulsing at the bottom and coming up, making sure not to come all the way up. We're not hinging the hips forward. We're keeping the tension on the glutes. Down and up. Make sure you're coming all the way down. 10 more seconds. Good, next up we are gonna do some curtsy lunges with a knee drive. So we're gonna do one side for 45 seconds, take a quick rest, and then we'll do the other side. So you're coming down, leg is diagonally backwards, and then you're coming up, pressing through this supporting heel and bringing this knee up, holding this core nice and tight. Really think about this heel. Think about driving it deep into the floor. Good, taking a quick 15 second rest. We're gonna do the same thing on the other leg. <clears throat> so this supporting leg doesn't move at all. And I really want you to think about that heel because that's how you're gonna feel it in that glute. So coming down and then drive this knee upward and keep that core nice and tight. Good, last exercise before we head to the ground. Nice and simple, we're doing a deadlift, but without the weight. So think about hinging the hips backward. You're sending the booty back, keeping the back nice and flat. Fingertips come just in front of the toes. And then squeeze that booty as you come up. Think about holding tension in those glutes the whole time. Good, taking a 30 second rest, heading to the ground. Our legs and our booties should be nice and warmed up by now. Now we are going to warm up the core. We're gonna start off by doing some alternating bird dog crunches. Actually not alternating, we're sticking to one side the whole time. So you're coming out, back is nice and flat, you're squeezing that glute, and then engaging the core as you bring it in. Extend it out and lower. Here we go. Good, 
One side for 45 seconds, really focus on that core. Exhale as you bring everything in. Try not to arch the back as you extend out. Last one. Good. Quick 15 second rest, we're gonna do the same thing. Using the other arm and the other leg. So really try to think about keeping a neutral spine. Your focus here is all on the core. You're not arching the back to get the leg up high. Doesn't matter how high your leg is, I want you to focus on that core. Nice flat back. Good, flip it over onto your back. So your heels and toes are together and your knees are pointed outward. We're gonna do some frog glute bridges. So in this position, you're pressing those shoulder blades into the floor and pressing those hips all the way up to the ceiling. Try not to spend too much time at the bottom your focus is on the upward motion. Good. We're going to stay in the same position with our legs. This time we're going to do a sit up from this position. So arms are above your head. You're doing a full sit up and reaching for the floor in front of you and then controlling as you come back down. If keeping your legs in this position is too hard, you can have them out straight or you can have them bent and place on the floor. Again, try not to spend too much time at the bottom and focus on the control on the way down. Good, all right. Staying on your back. We are going to do a regular glute bridge. So feet are placed flat on the floor. You're coming up, down, and on your second one, you're gonna hold at the top and do two abductions and lower. So again, controlling on the way down. And also as you're doing these abductions, hold your hips as high as they possibly can be before you lower. Really try to sit into your heels. Good. Staying on our backs, we are going to do some elbow to knee crunches. So elbow meets the knee in the center. You're lifting that shoulder blade up off the floor and switching. If that is 
too much for you. You can come down in between like so. More intense, you're switching right away. Press that lower back into the floor. Good, that is the end of our second set. We're taking a quick 30 second rest. You're standing up. Next up, you are going to do a standing kickback. So you're kicking back, squeezing that glute, leg is directly behind you, and then you're coming down into a squat, up, other side, squat, kick back, just like so. Here we go. Really try to squeeze and hold during that kickback. Don't forget about your core in this exercise as well. Upper body's nice and lifted. Good, all right, nice wide stance. Next up, we're gonna do some side lunges. You're coming down and we're staying low for 45 seconds. Here we go. Sit back into those heels. That way you'll feel it in your glute rather than in your knees. Take it nice and slow. Fifteen more seconds. repeat those two exercises once again. So we're gonna do those kickbacks to the squats, and then we're gonna do the side lunges one more time, and then that's the end of the set. And we're gonna head back down to the ground. Here we go. Squeeze those booties, hold for a hot second at the top. Make sure that that leg is coming directly behind you. Think about kicking that heel to the ceiling. to keep your core tight. That's gonna protect your lower back. So try to keep a neutral spine as much as possible. Think about that working leg rather than arching your back to get the leg up. All right, side lunges one more time. If moving from side to side is too much or it hurts your knees, I should have given you this option before, but you can just do regular side lunges coming up in between. Just make sure to really focus on squeezing those inner thighs as you come up through center. Fifteen more seconds. Good. 
Good. All right, that's the end of that set. We're gonna take a 30 second rest and we're heading back down to the ground. Next up, you are extending opposite leg and opposite arm. You're going to do a crunch, pressing the lower back into the floor, reaching for the toes, coming down, and then you're going to do a single leg glute bridge from here. So pressing through the supporting leg, pressing those shoulder blades into the floor, getting those hips up and down. Crunch and bridge. Really get those shoulder blades up off the floor, reach for that crunch. Good, take a quick 15 second breather down here. We're going to do the other side. Here we go. Reach for those toes. Think about sitting into that supporting heel in that glute bridge. Good. Flip it over into a tabletop position. Next up, we're going to do some donkey, what I call donkey circles. I'm not sure the exact name, but you are doing a big half circle with that knee and then holding into a donkey kick position and coming back in. So think about drawing a huge circle with that knee and then pressing that heel to the ceiling. Don't forget about your core. We're not arching the back, we're keeping a nice neutral spine. second rest we're gonna do the other side really try to think about keeping that knee as high as possible and then kicking that heel as high as you can to the ceiling while also driving that working hip down toward the floor Next up, same position. We are going to do one side for each 45 second interval. You're going to extend the leg. We're going to do some kickbacks. So again, driving this working hip down toward the floor, kicking that heel up toward the ceiling and squeezing that glute. that core nice and tight. You're just focusing on moving that working leg. Take 
a quick 15 second breather. We're gonna do the other side. We're embracing the burn. A few more exercises here on the floor before we move back to standing up. Just keep breathing through the burn. You got this. Drive that working hip down toward the floor, heel toward the ceiling, and keep that core tight. legs a break we're gonna flip back over onto our back so we're going to do some leg drops nice and simple but I sound like a broken record in every single one of my videos I want you to press that lower back into the floor so we're not dropping the legs all the way down we're going to keep that back pressed into the floor and if that means you're only dropping your legs to 45 degrees so be it Good. All right, flip it back over into a tabletop because we're not done there yet. We are extending one leg out to the side. This one's going to work your core and your booty. We're doing rainbow legs. So you're dropping to the side, bring it up to the back, down to the side, up to the back. Again, just really think about only moving that working leg. If keeping the leg straight is too much, you can keep it bent and do a similar motion. second rest we're gonna do the other side here we go really remember to try and keep the core tight and try to keep the upper body still All right, one more exercise on the ground. Flip it over onto your back. We are going to do half to full crunches. So you can do these either with your feet up or with your feet on the floor. You're coming up halfway, all the way, and then lowering down. Press that lower back into the floor more and more each time.
Good. 30 second rest, we are standing up. Moving into our final set of this workout. I've got sweat dripping in my eye. We are gonna do some sumo squats. So feet a little bit wider than you would a regular squat. Toes are pointed outward, coming down and up. Again, keeping the tension on those glutes. You're not coming up and hinging the hips forward. You're gonna stay a little bit more forward, hips pointed backward, tension on those glutes. Here we go. some more squats we're burning it out for the last little bit of this workout you're gonna do a good morning so you're hinging at the hips core is tight back is flat coming up down into a squat so even though this is a lower body motion this is also going to be working your core make sure that it's nice and tight Right, guys a few more exercises to go next up you are going to do a reverse lunge into a kickback I know you're gonna hate me but it's fine you're gonna do a reverse lunge come up squeeze back down to a lunge back to center you can do this press through that supporting heel squeeze those glutes Try to hold for a hot second at the top with that kick back. Make sure you're hitting that lunge every time. Good. All right, last movement. We are doing a side lunge. <laughs> you're lunging and then coming up and twisting. Lunge and twist. Last two minutes of this workout, you can do it, push through, let's go. More seconds. Good. 15 second rest, we're gonna do the other side and then we're done. Really try to focus on the crunch. Exhale as you bring the leg up and you twist. So let's go. Think about bringing that opposite elbow to your knee. Can't get enough. I try my best to look away, but I can't 
stop? Am I afraid to you? We almost touch. I feel your body move my way. You're close enough. So I say, can't take my Come on, guys, two more seconds. You can do it. Keep that upper body lifted. And that is it, guys. Great job. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this killer 30 minute abs and booty workout. If you enjoyed this one and you wanna see more like this, give this video a thumbs up and let me know in the comments down below. Don't forget, if you are looking for workout programs designed by me, make sure to check out the MadFit app. You can download your seven day free trial using the link in the description down below. Thank you guys so much for being here with me today and I will see you very soon. Bye.